So once you've successfully um, upgraded your radio and you've rebooted your phone, you'll come back to the home screen. And uh, by the way, the HTC logo might stay on for quite a time, maybe two minutes or so. And you might have to re-sign into your Google account. But basically, after all that's done, you'll get back here. And all your settings will be wiped. So this is when App Manager comes in. You're going to open up your App Manager application. And you're going to click on Menu. And you're going to click on Install from SD. It's going to load up. And basically, you're going to um, install your apps one by one from your SD card. Um, and if that doesn't work, I mean, it should work. But you might also come up to this option screen where you have to allow installation of unknown um, apps. And, well, it's self-explanatory. You'll get it when you go through the process of um, installing all your apps. So, um, now that you've gone through some troubleshooting of the HTC build of Cupcake, your phone should work a lot better with this build. It still won't be perfect. It's not such a good build as I've said before. But you'll probably see some improvement. So now I'll actually talk about some features of the HTC build of Cupcake. Um, so basically, as you can see, there's no voice search for Google anymore. Um, but the big um, thing about HTC, um, the big thing about Cupcake is that there's a virtual keyboard. So when you plan to type something in, a uh, virtual keyboard pops up. And you basically type by just tapping on the screen. You could set like vibration options and things like that. Um, or if you want to make a sound with the keyboard, you can do that too in, in the keyboard options. And also, in the HTC build, there's a cool thing where you, if you click on that button that I just clicked on, you can actually um, draw the letters and letters will appear um, so hold on let me show you an example so if I do an A it's not perfect alright so if I do an O uh, it's not it's not such a good um, um, virtual keyboard it's not such a good draw pad but you get the idea basically draw letters um, and they give you options too so you can select them from the bottom and there's Chinese hieroglyphs I don't know if you'd need that but just putting that out there um, so that's the virtual keyboard next is a new camera kind of, it's a slightly modified camera so I just opened up my camera app it loads up and here's the camera so if I uh, so basically the first thing uh, is if you tap on the screen you'll get some more options for example you can zoom in now and zoom back out um, you can also go to your picture gallery right away and you see the picture number and also if you click on menu you'll see a lot more picture options like the size, the white balance, and even more settings. So that's the camera. Now there's also a new camcorder which the G1 didn't have before. So if you click on the camcorder app, it works pretty much just like the um, the photo, the normal photo camera app, but it takes um, videos instead so if I were to tap on the home screen you'd see pretty much the same options zoom in zoom out um, and then even more options by clicking menu then if you want to record a video you'd uh, click on the trackball and it starts um, recording the actual video then when you're done, you click on the trackball again, and it gives you options such as 
sharing, deleting, storing in your gallery, and sending them as a text message. So that's the Camcorder app. Now, a couple small things about the HTC build of Cupcake. Um, so first off, there's only Gtalk as an instant messenger. They don't have any other IM application. Um, there's also a Microsoft Outlook mail button and I think you're allowed to actually sync all your contacts and stuff with this application. Um, the browser is a little bit different. And by the way, I didn't mention this before, there is uh, an, a default auto-rotate on your phone, so things do rotate on this phone automatically. And then you would basically use your keyboard to type stuff in. And uh, if you search, I can show you some more options. Uh, take, yeah, so a little bit different zooming buttons. This returns you to the full page if you are, uh, sorry, so different zooming buttons and uh, this returns you to the 100% um, zoom by clicking that button. Um, so another thing is really weird thing. I don't know if you can clearly see that, but instead of 3G, it's for some reason an H. Um, I think it's still the 3G network. They just changed that for some reason. Um, and the last thing that I don't really like is that there's only like one ringtone that comes with the phone. So if I click on settings, click on sound and display, then click on phone ringtone, you can see that there's only one type of ringtone on this phone. Um, so that's pretty much the HTC build of Cupcake. Again, I showed you um, some troubleshooting things that will help out, but you still might get some bugs with this program, I mean with this build, so I wouldn't really recommend getting it. And I'm planning to do some more reviews of a couple other builds of Cupcake, and I'll probably give you a link to the video of those other reviews. So make sure you check them out, and thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to my videos.